All right, Coach Burnett, what are the Illyria Pioneers up to? Uh, you guys got some, you got some duels tomorrow, right? Yeah, it should be fun. So you and Haverdo, you guys are going to hook it up and we're going to go uh, state semifinal rematch from last year's state duels, right? Mm -hmm. Did you guys wrestle Kaufman last year at the state duels? Who were your, who were your three opponents? So Brexville, St. Ed's, who's your first opponent? Yeah, no, we didn't see Kaufman. Um, uh, we wrestled, uh, wasn't it uh, South? Um, Westerville? Uh, yeah. So it was Westerville South, and then you guys Yeah, beat. I believe so. Then, then, yeah, then Braxville, and then uh, we wrestled uh, Eds. Okay. So, Coach, last year, crazy, wild matchup. Braxville bumps up. Voinovich versus Mungia, right? And Mungia yeah. has beaten him the last two times they've wrestled in high school, correct? I think they had split. I, I know, I know Enrique. Had a you guys won in, the semis the, you won in the semis at the state, right? Yeah, we lost to, we lost to Victor somewhere else. So um, that was an interesting matchup. Um, and that, that was huge. I mean, that was huge for Enrique. And for our team, for, yes. that, for, that, Matt, for that win. So talking to Coach Van Gundy earlier, I was like, hey, everybody wants to see Shoemate, Russell Venadia, similar to everybody wants to see Voinovich and Mungia Russell, which you know I do. I know you do. Mm -hmm. But not probably going to be within your control. Um, and the duel probably won't be developed to the point where we're going to know who the winner is going to be, right? Because there's a bunch of toss-ups, and we're just not going to know, right? But – how yeah, great are, we'll see how it plays out. How great are some of these matchups, and, and how excited are for, for you guys, the, the Pioneers, to host this and to get some great matchups here in tw at the end of 2020? Yeah, I mean, we'll, you know, we'll see how things play out. Um, the individual matches should be really cool. Um, you know, we're glad to be doing it. Um, you know, obviously, uh, with things being the way they are, you know, this time of the year, you're usually going to the huge Brexel holiday tournament. Um, but yeah, with that not happening, you know, at least the kids get to get in there and, and scrap with some good, some good guys. You guys are down a state champ. Uh, Fenton will not be in the lineup tomorrow because I really want to see. Oh, I think is it Fenton Jet is a matchup we could see, right? Yeah, that's yeah. not going to happen tomorrow, right? No. When you have a guy like that out, you know, you got a guy who's a freshman state champ. He's not in the lineup right now. Obviously, that hurts because it, it can be a nine or a twelve point swing having a state champ from two years ago in the lineup, a guy who's going to UVA, who's obviously a high-level D1 guy. How do you guys get through that? How have you built depth over the years to, to try and make up for stuff like that, Coach? Well, you get a guy in there and tell him go get go, go at it. Big thing, I mean, just see who can step up. See who can step up next, you know. And, uh, you know, these times, um, it's just it is what it is. Um, you know, we got a couple guys that are out, and we're hoping that the guys that are in there will step up. 182 is going to be absolutely bananas tomorrow. We got Perrine. Obviously, uh, your guy, Jake Evans, another D1 guy who's headed to Indiana University. Uh, you know, Perrine and Ambrosky is coming from Kaufman. And Pleasant has a guy, obviously, Hibner, who's going to be teammates with your son at Pitt. 182 is going to be worth the price of admission tomorrow in Illyria's gym. Would you agree? Yeah, Jake. Jake's looking forward to wrestling tough guys, you know. So I think it's going to be really cool for all those guys at 82. Should, should be a lot of fun, man. I think every guy is a ranked in the top 10 or 11 guy in talking to Todd and looking at the rankings today. I am like, every matchup at 182 is must-see TV tomorrow. Like, I, I, like all three duels, because there's going to be three duels going on at once, right? Because it's, it's 16. Yeah. Everybody's wrestling everybody. It's five duels, five rounds, right? Right. Um, you know, and this is this is the – I think it's a great thing right now, Coach Burnett. The way things are set up, it's like it's COVID, right? It's it, we're restricted. You know, we don't have the Brexville for the first time in sixty years. I mean, you were a Brexville champ, right? Like, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so what was the Brexville when you thirty years ago, thirty five years ago? Did you wrestle in the Brexville? Yeah, I think uh, I think they watch my matches on the radio, bro. I mean, it was <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was a long time ago so not having that tournament man it's um 
you know, it's, it's, I mean, what we're doing is good. Don't get me wrong, but man, not having that tournament, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely different. Um, so we well, will do what we can do right now. Though, right? How many times you win it? Um, I think I won it my junior and senior year. We didn't, we didn't go to it until I was a junior. Um, but you know, back then it was 16 teams, maybe 18, maybe 18, but I think pretty much 16. It wasn't like the 46 team extravaganza it is now, man. Um, it was still tough. It was, you know, it was fun. It was fun, but, but, uh, yeah, but now, now it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Nate Burnett could take on freshman Kale Voinovich tomorrow. That could be another big one. A uh, couple other big ones up and down a lot. Nate's going to have some tough matches. What do you – you know, you're in the household with Nate. He's your last one, right? I mean, it's got – is it weird? Is it a little weird just having one? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, – it's a, it's a different deal there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, we uh, we had um, – Mick was here a little bit during Thanksgiving, so that was a little bit kind of back to normal there. But then, um, you know, then he bounced and uh, – you know, so here we are, um, just trying to get some things done that we need to get done. Uh, you know, wrestling, Nate, Nate loves to wrestle. He loves to train. Um, you know what I mean? So right now we're just trying to make sure we do everything to prepare and do things right, uh, whether it's schoolwork or, or we're getting ready for matches or, you know, just, just being in a good, um, good, healthy culture. That's what we're doing right now. You know, he's going to Clarion. How proud are you, of him going to Clarion are you? I mean, that had to be, you know, that that's just amazing. You know, mix at Pitt right now, hail to Pitt. One of your sons going to Clarion. How excited are you for that? Yeah, that was uh, it was strange how that how that happened. I mean, in, in, strange in a good way, obviously. Um, you know, it was just um, you you have to be um, a place like Clarion, man. It, it, it's like it fits certain people. If that makes sense. I mean, everywhere is like that, I would say, right? Um, but you know, we we didn't have we didn't have too many guys from our program um, interested in a smaller school, kind of rural. Um, so many really cool things to offer if you like that. You know what I mean? Um, we we had many many years ago, like uh, Jason Robinette went there. He was uh, from when when we first started coaching at Elyria. Um, he actually graduated from there. Um, but we just haven't had that many guys, you know, and for Nate to, to actually just be walking around the campus, um, unassisted. I mean, we just took a family trip there during COVID and he just loved it. You know, he said, this is, this is the place I want to be. And I thought that was neat. You know what I mean? As his dad, because that's kind of how I felt when I went there. Um, so, so once again, I, I think it's very cool, you know, so he's just, uh, just got to do things right in high school and get ready for that grind, right? You know, we talk about 182 tomorrow is going to be just bananas, right? It, it, it's going to look like a state tournament, like a Division One state tournament. It's literally going to look like those are the four matches you got to win tomorrow to win a, a state title type. That's literally what a guy is going to have to do. What a 182 tomorrow? What are some low key ones are you looking at? Some low key. I'm not talking about them. What weights do you think you're looking at that are that are low key that are going to be maybe? Maybe rival 182. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'll take a better look at it tonight once I see more of the lineups and things like that. Last minute changes, whatnot. Um, I look at Colin you know, Knoll. Colin Knoll has got to be, he's key for you tomorrow. I'm looking up and down here. They got Ayub, they got Amar Ayub, he's a freshman. That's a guy he can run into tomorrow. He's got a couple different guys he could run into tomorrow. He could be a huge part of what you guys are doing tomorrow to win these duels. Would you agree that that sure. could be another guy who could be a key? Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody, you know. I mean, if you, and if you get a chance to bonus somebody, you know what I mean, um, some of the matchup, maybe some of the matchups that aren't great that you're supposed to win, you know, you look to bonus. Um, you know what I mean? And then you got other matchups that aren't so great maybe for us. You don't want to get bonused, <laughs> you know. And that's that's kind of how you, you put yourself up. You set yourself up to try to win a dual meet. Connor Burris, another one. I'm looking at Connor Burris. He's another guy. He's going to have Ethan Burden. You know what I mean? Like, there's another. That's another huge matchup for Cough. I mean, it's another one that could decide to duel, Coach. Right. Yep. Connor's tough. You know what I mean? We'll we'll see. We'll see what he has. We'll see what he's going to bring to the table tomorrow. You know? uh, any interesting bumping that we're thinking about right now, due to whatever? Is there any interesting bumping, or does that just is that in the moment? See how this the the, the team duel score is going. Yeah, we'll talk about that with the kids, you know, prior to the to the match. You know what I mean? Like, 
You know what I mean? We'll finish up one match. We'll get ready for the next match. We'll look at the lineups. We'll, well, you know, we'll say, hey, maybe we might do this. Um, I don't see us doing a whole lot of bumping, to be honest with you. But once again, you never know. You know, you just don't know. All right, Coach, you got practice here in about 20 minutes. Do you got anything else for me? Is everything going good in the Burnett household? Are you, are you, are you still a mutant jumping rope three, four days a week? Are you still drilling every day? Do you still wrestle as much? Did you and Mickey get on the mat, smack hands, and wrestle it all over the break? No, no, we did not. He, he couldn't come home um, for Christmas because he would have had to quarantine. So, um, so no, no. Lucky for Mick, we didn't have a chance to get on the mat and, and get at it, you know. I didn't want to destroy his dreams, giving him a shot at the title. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, coach. Come on, coach. That guy's a monster. He's got 20 pounds on you, at least. 20 pounds. Yeah, he's a little bigger. Yeah, he's a lot. He's a lot to handle now. I, I'd have to say he'd be a he'd be a, he'd be a really tough go. So no, we haven't gone. No, we did a little hand fighting here in the summer back in June. Um, and that was about it because he got pretty heavy, man. And uh, but yeah, I try to work out. And I'm not wrestling as much. We're in pods right now. You know what I mean. So I got my couple of guys I wrestle with, and but no, not as much as before. And but yeah, you got to do something, right? You got to try to stay in shape. You know. 51 years old, you can't just uh, can't just be laying around, you know. What about Nate Dog? You and Nate Dog scrap it? You mix it up with Nate Dog? Not too much, man. Um, you know, we, we go every now and again, but but not 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 so much. Um, you know, he's lucky because he has so many tough partners in our room. You know what I mean? In his pod right now, I mean, it's you know, he's got he's got handlers. You know, he doesn't necessarily need the old man um, as far as wrestling with me. So so no, he's in a great situation. Yeah, I, and I'm looking at his weight. He's going to have some good match. He's going to have Bauman from, from Kaufman, obviously Kel Boinovich. He's got some guys to wrestle tomorrow. He's going to have to – Nate Dogg's going to have to be ready to go tomorrow, Coach. Yeah, yeah, he's looking forward to it. It'll, it'll be, it should be a lot of fun for him. All right, Coach, you got to get off the practice. You got anything else for me? No, thanks for what you're doing, Zeb. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Wrestling starts at 11 live i believe almost every illyria duel maybe except one will be live on gohio cast youtube channel subscribe it's free check it out we're going to be putting other types of uh updates on there through uh twitter gohio cast twitter is that miller twitter inside the circle mark neiman will be there so we're going to kind of cross brand and make it happen all right coach that'll be sweet all I right appreciate coach. it man Thank i you. will see you in the morning yes sir later, later. on